Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Pie chart. A pie graph shows relationship between a whole and its parts. The size of each sector is proportional to information it represents. Let us try to understand what the definition says. Let us consider that this circle represents one whole day. Let us revise what is sector. We know that if we draw two radii, then the area covered by them is called a sector. Also, we need to revise that total angle of a circle is 360 degrees. Consider this table showing a child's routine for the day. In a day, he sleeps 8 hours. He goes to school for 6 hours. Does his homework for 4 hours, plays for 3 hours and some other things he do for 3 hours. Now we have to draw the pie chart. First thing that we have to do is to find out the proportion proportion of the sector. That means, since he sleeps 8 hours, that implies the proportion is 8 hours out of 24 hours he is sleeping, which is equal to 1 by 3. So, 1 third of the circle will represent the hours he sleep. Similarly, time spent at school is 6 hours to find the proportion, we know that he is spending 6 hours out of 24 hours, that is 1 by 4. So we will mark 1 fourth of the circle will represent time spent at school. Similarly, we will calculate the proportion of sector for time spent in doing homework which is 4 hours out of 24 and it comes out to be 1 sixth of the circle. Then proportion of sector for time spent in playing is 3 by 24 which, which comes out to be 1 eighth of the circle and proportion of sector for time spent in other activities is 3 by 24 which comes out to be 1 eighth of the circle. So now we have another column showing the proportion of the circle for each entry. Now it remains to calculate how much is one third of a circle. To calculate one third of a circle we know that we a circle has 360 degrees angle. We will take one third of 360 degrees that will come out to be 120. That means 120 degrees will mark one third of the circle. Similarly, one fourth of the circle would mean one fourth into 360 
that comes out to be 90 degrees 1 sixth of the circle is same as 60 degrees 1 eighth of the circle would mean that is 45 degrees now it remains to draw the pi graph so now we have fractions and degrees representing the routine of the child let the circle represent the whole day now let us start drawing 120 degrees we draw a radius and using a D we will mark 120 degrees hence we get a sector that represents the time the child sleeps that is 8 hours similarly using a D we will mark 90 degrees and we will get a sector that represents the time child spends in school that is 6 hours similarly using a D we will mark 60 degrees and get a sector that represents the time spent by child in doing his homework that is 4 hours similarly we will mark 45 degrees and 45 degrees and we will get a sector that represents time spent by child to play that is 3 hours and time spent by the child in doing other activities that is also 3 hours.